Good afternoon, my lovely chocolate-covered people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another chocolate review. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kelly. I eat chocolate too much and I talk far too much. <laughs> Today we are talking about a product that we have touched on very briefly, approximately like three years ago on the channel, but they've been very, very kind to gift me not only one of their classic products, but a new product they have released quite recently for me to talk to you guys about today. We are talking about Mr. Monty Bojangles and all of his lovely sounds. Monty Bojangles is an independent British company that makes its chocolates in France and sells them through the UK. And I kind of thought very highly of them when we reviewed these a few years ago. Admittedly, it was a while and I haven't eaten many of these chocolates since just because there are always so many new chocolates to taste. But I'm very excited to get back into these today. One of the things I love about this brand so much is the kind of uniqueness of it. You could see this box from a distance and you know which company it is. It's colorful, the packaging is truly daring, it's bold. You barely even know that you're buying chocolate, which when it comes to packaging truffles is something I actually really like. But today we are going to be tasting one of their classic truffle flavors and their brand new vegan Coco Nib Nights chocolates, which I have never seen nor tasted, so I'm quite excited. The flavor of their classic truffles that we're going to be sampling in today's video are their scrumple nutty hazelnut truffles. Now, these are cocoa dusted truffles, so different slightly from the kinds of truffles you can get that have a full chocolate coating. These are just kind of gently rolled in some cocoa powder. So when you open up this gorgeous yellow box to reveal this gorgeous purpley inside, we have our bag of truffles kept here just to retain all that freshness. So as you can see by the cocoa that is just gently kissing each and every one of my fingers here, this is what a Monty Bojangles truffle looks like. Very rustic, very kind of chic, French, classic. You have no idea what's going on inside, so you want to bite into it. There is a wonderful hazelnutty smell coming from this whole box, to be honest. And we can see that we have not only a kind of hazelnut flavoring in there, but we do have actual chips of roasted hazelnut just to add not only some texture, but some flavor. Shall we taste the scrumple nutty truffle? That, that is how you do a hazelnut truffle. Let me see if I can give you a close up. Do excuse my fingers, they're covered in cocoa. But the inside of that truffle, you can see is that beautiful sort of semi-soft chocolate truffley texture with just those tiny pieces of hazelnut in there. And it's the most wonderfully addictive, smooth chocolate texture. Mmm. The hazelnut flavor in there is that same sort of wonderful, full, but sweet hazelnut flavor that you get from hazelnut coffee syrup or even Frangelico, those little hazelnut liqueur shots you can get. It's really, really good. If you love Nutella, if you love Kinder Bueno, if you love Ferrero Rocher, that texture is just, you know, God tier for hazelnut lovers. And the texture with those tiny crunchy pieces of roasted hazelnut in there are just perfect without kind of interrupting that soft chocolate texture throughout. The cocoa dusting, I'll admit, is not always my favorite thing on a chocolate truffle as I feel like sometimes it can be quite bitter or it can be quite drying when you actually put it in your mouth. There is just the right amount of cocoa on these that it doesn't kind of ruin the whole truffle experience. It's just enough to mellow out the sweetness and the kind of richness of that texture in here. Biting into it is like biting into a solid spoonful of chocolate ganache almost. It just melts in your mouth wonderfully. And while this chocolate is a bit more kind of mid-range than your Cadbury or your Galaxy, it feels like it. It tastes like it in both the flavor and the texture. It's one for hazelnut lovers all day long and it's one for lovers of any kind of chocolate truffle and seriously addictive. <laughs> on that basis, just on their scrumple nutty classic chocolate truffles alone, I will be quite happy to give these a lovely twinkling four out of five. Shall we move on to the vegan version to see if they are any good? Now, vegan chocolate was something I used to be deeply skeptical of <laughs> because there are truly so many terrible takes on vegan chocolate out there, usually from brands that focus their entire image on being 
vegan, plant-based, cruelty-free, rather than being a chocolate company. Whereas chocolate companies who've just had a go at the vegan thing have often done it quite well. Not all the time, but often. And the more time goes on, the better the huge range of decent kind of vegan chocolate treats has become, definitely. So we are talking about the Monty Bojangles vegan cocoa dust truffles with cocoa nibs. Now this I am imagining would be a bit more of a kind of dark chocolate hit than the scrumple nutty truffles. Cocoa nibs are often kind of chosen as a healthy alternative to chocolate, you know, when it's had sugar and things added to it, or it's just something that people who utterly adore the kind of rich, bold, ballsy flavour of dark chocolate as something to sprinkle on dessert, to sprinkle on to bake things, they can be really good. Opening up the truffles, we can see that it looks pretty much identical to our scrumple nutty truffle, that kind of dark, slightly but quirkily lopsided shape and there is a much kind of darker chocolate smell to these. Let's see how they are. As expected this is immediately a much darker chocolate hit. It still has all of that lovely kind of beautiful fluidity to the melt that the other truffles did. You know, you really wouldn't need to chew this. It just kind of melts nice and slowly on the palate. These are much richer, much darker, probably a little bit less addictive in the sense you could probably only really want to have two or three of these because they are quite bold in that cocoa flavour, almost to the point of that kind of rich savouriness that you get from it, which I really like. The cocoa nibs work fantastically in this, just as the hazelnut pieces worked in the hazelnut ones. They offer a lovely little kind of punctuation to all of that smooth richness, a little bit of crunch and adding again another layer of like super, super concentrated chocolatey flavour. You don't put this in your mouth and think, oh my god, I've never missed milk powder so much in my life. You know, it just, it just tastes like a good dark chocolate truffle. It doesn't taste obviously healthy. It doesn't taste obviously granola and Birkenstocks. You know, it just tastes like a dark chocolate truffle. The only criticism I really would have of these is the kind of individual wrapping thing, especially for the vegan market. I think as a vegan or if someone who was looking for vegan options, because sometimes I do, but I do think if you're going to be selling to the vegan market, the individual wrapping may be an issue. And you know, this may not be the case for every person who eats vegan, but any vegan I've met personally is not only extremely kind of aware of the ethics of the treatment of animals that led them to the decision to go vegan, but also of the environment. So I think inclusion of the individual wrapping on the chocolates may not go down well with every single vegan consumer. But that being said, it's a kind of recyclable cardboard box we have on the outside and they don't contain any animal products and they're still good. So they've managed to reach like a kind of good balance of the consumer they're trying to reach and the actual quality of the product, if that makes sense. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with these though. As I said, I think they are a great vegan option. They're a great option full stop, whether you eat vegan or not. If you like chocolate, if you like dark chocolate and chocolate truffles, you're not gonna be disappointed by these. And on that basis, much like these scrumple nutty truffles, I'm going to give these a very, very happy four out of five. If you guys have tasted Monty Bojangles chocolate before, do let me know in the comments. Thank you again so much to the lovely Mr. Monty and your Bojangles for gifting me these boxes. But I'm afraid that is all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so, so much as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all of your various social media channels, especially on TikTok, where we have kind of surprisingly managed to reach almost 30,000 followers, which is a little bit overwhelming, but I would love to see you there. And don't forget, you can always support the channel and all of the chocolate purchasing endeavors over on Patreon, where you can also get exclusive access to content and early access to Sweet Nothings podcast episodes. But that is all I have time for today, my lovely chocolate lovers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one.